Connecting, routing, and running monitors can be a real challenge if you're not used to it and you haven't done it a lot. The M20D has a bunch of enhancements in this area. So there are auto-sensing monitor jacks, where if you plug in a cable, it'll automatically create and route a monitor for you. There's a super obvious touchscreen environment for managing those monitors, and you have task-specific presets designed to get you to a mix quickly. Let me show you how it works. So let's create some monitors by plugging cables into the monitor output jacks. They're auto-sensing, just like the inputs are, so if you connect something to them, they'll automatically create monitors for you. So if we drag this one for the lead singer, drag this one over here for the keyboard player and resize it, definitely resize that one too so the lead singer doesn't feel inadequate. And there we go. Now, regardless of how you connect the monitors to the console via L6 link or analog as we're doing right now, you manage those monitors on the monitor page. So, the monitor you're going to be sending signal to at that point is encircled with this little triangle graphic. And these down here are the master outputs for the monitors. So these are the sends to the monitors, and these are the output level for the monitor. So they're blinking together to let you know which one you're going to be dealing with. And anytime you send signal from a channel in the mixer to the monitor, you get this great graphic to let you know what's going on. So it's actually very, very helpful. So let's create two monitor mixes. We'll create one for the vocalist and one for the keyboard player. So we'll start with the keyboard player. So basically, he's going to want um, pretty much everybody, I imagine. So I'm going to start playback. And we'll turn him up. This is keyboard guy. There you go. So we've got drums, piano. Vocals. Cool. Now for the vocal guy, he's probably not going to want much in the way of drums. Turn him up. Probably not going to want much in the way of drums, but he's going to want a pitch reference from the piano, he's going to want bass, and he's going to want himself, which is good. Now remember, much like there are presets for all of the processing in the console, there are also presets for the speakers themselves. So when you go to the tweak page and you select one of the monitors, you'll see that you have a six band EQ, a limiter, and a high pass filter on the monitor. And if you're connected over L6 link, you have a 32, 31 band EQ as well that you can control from the mixer. It's actually in the speaker, but you're controlling it from here. Now, seeing as how you know you're gonna be using this as a vocal monitor, why not just set it up that way right off the bat? My best fish tail, the wish Pulls out a little bit of low mid, adds a little bit of clarity on top. That's almost always what you do to a vocal monitor. Why not start off that way? That's how easy it is to run monitors on the M20D. And you are my best